the tutorial is on the Lady Gaga music video for nothing I can say um, and what we're gonna do first is section not oh yeah apply any like pomade working cream that you guys may have um, you don't have to you if you don't want to but it helps out a lot and remember when you do updo your hair is always better when it's dirty so <clears throat> yeah you're gonna section your pat your incline into three so you took a section in the back off like this from the back of the ear. You guys can do it differently. You guys can take however I'm taking. I'm just using clips to clip that up. So the first thing we're going to do after we clip that up, part it in kind of like in the middle. Or you guys, once you get the technique down, you can choose where you want it to be. <clears throat> so she has a, <clears throat> excuse me, she has a, what is it called? Um, a victory row in her video. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, comb out the hair like this until we get it nice and smooth now you might want to use a rat tail, not a rat tail comb but a teasing brush after you use product as well, as well take it out start rolling I like to personally wrap it around my fingers like this and if you guys don't get this right away so what I'm going to do what I tend to do is you know I put product in my person my client's hair whatever I'm working on Today we're working on Maria, and I'm going to take my hair at like a high-ish 45 angle, and I wrap the hair, the ends, around my fingers, depending on how big I want my, my roll to be. Then from there on, I start rolling, but I kind of try to lift it, not too much, but somewhat lift it to place it onto the hair. And when you, while you're raising it or lowering, the, whatever, raising it or placing it, is just so you can... Um, get the angle all the way up like that now I'll show you guys right now um, what it looks like so make sure your bobby pin that get it nice and secure bobby pin the back with bobby pins now by the way for this look you might want to use bigger bobby pins too so there we go there's our victory roll we can lift it a little by just lifting it like this and then kind of pinning, pinning my hair. Ooh, trying to get that victory roll to stay. So, ooh, nice. Pinning it down. Now we have a victory roll. That's super simple. Now we're going to take our brush and just, you know, comb this out. Now this is a little bit of the harder part. You're going to want to use a teasing brush, and I have one, but I have no idea where it is. Where it's at. Oh, there it is. Is this it? No, it's not. <laughs> where it's at. So I'm just going to use a rat tail comb. Now, this will work as well, but you might, a teasing brush is a lot better because in the video, she has um, that little lift in her hair. So we're going to start picking up the hair. Make sure it's all combed out one way. You can use a brush actually for this part. So we get that nice and smooth lift. And you're going to take it this way, forward, and kind of just let it drop like that. Do you guys see that? How it has that little bit of um, three dimensional lift up here? That's what you're going to undo. And if that doesn't work for you, go ahead and tease with inside of that hair section. Now you're going to take this hair, make sure that stays the way it is. I'm going to lift this around, and this has different ways you can do it. You can either bring it back up here and pin it, which is what I want to do, or take that and make it into a pin curl facing forward, because in the video, she had a pin curl. But I don't like the pin curl, so I'm just going to pin it up here. And it also gives you a little more hiddenness to that. So that's really simple. Now for the back, what we're going to do is just take this section, the back you can do whatever you want. This is the simplest way that I found it to do to be because you can do kind of like a French twist, but a little harder for me to get a French twist. So what I do is kind of the same technique with the victory roll and just roll like this. Try to get that as neat as possible that you can. And it's gonna give you a little bit of a wave. This is why we need the big um, bobby pins. And you're just gonna bobby pin that hair. Just like that. And for a little bit more support. Take your other bobby pins and just pin them in the hair. Hide them within the hair. And you got that nice little sweep that's been hidden in the hair. So it's a really, really simple look. So um, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. And thanks for watching.